Brawl Frederick coming at you with another episode of Hey Brawl Frederick. On today's episode, I'm going to tell you the five top places to play video poker on the Las Vegas Strip as we drive up and down the Las Vegas Strip. This is a follow-up video to a recent video I did. I'll put a link in the description, which was, is it time to get away from slot machines and start playing video poker? So, of course, I got tons of comments. Well, you want us to play video poker? You're suggesting video poker? Where should we play video poker? So, here we go. I'm also doing a video on the best places to do play video poker downtown as well. And if you stick around to the very end, I'm going to drop the number. 9% word of the day. You drop that in the comments. It'll let me know and YouTube know that you stuck around to the very end. And for doing that, I'm going to give you some bonus information at the end, which is should you be playing video poker in the high limit slot rooms? And we're going to discuss all of that right after this. Welcome back. Again, my name's Brawl Frederick, local Las Vegas-based photographer, videographer, cinematographer, and part-time philosopher. And I invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I drop more videos. So let's get right into it. But before we get right into it, I wanted to discuss the criteria for how I made these selections. For those of you not all that familiar with video poker, in video poker specifically, each type of game and each type of machine has a pay list. The percentage, what it's paying, and how it's paying is listed right on the machine. So it's up to you to check, and that is specifically my criteria with the other videos I did, the best and worst places to play slots on the strip and slots downtown. I also took into account perks, service, and amenities. In this video, I'm not doing that because video poker payout is set in stone. Now, if you want me to do a video on how to properly read a pay chart, on a video poker machine, any video poker machine, anywhere in the United States, probably the world, just drop in the comments, hey, bro, Frederick, teach us how to read payouts on video poker machines, and I will put together a video. Now, not all slot machines are created equal. There's such things as 96 Deuce. There's such things as 851, 651, and you need to know those things in order to sit down in front of a machine, but it's set in stone and cannot be manipulated because you can walk up, press the button, and know exactly what you're getting into. And pay can vary. The payout scale can vary from, I've seen from the 80s all the way up to, and I've seen these machines, I'll tell you where they are in another video, all the way up to 100% plus. So that's one of the added benefits of playing video poker. So let's get right into it. Now, these properties that I'm going to discuss, the top five, some of these places I've said don't play slots here, but when it comes to video poker, you might want to give them a look. And the common denominator that you'll find in this video is that these properties that I'm going to name happen to be the older properties. So keep that in mind as well. So getting into number five is Planet Hollywood. Now, bear in mind that I've spent the past month and a half talking about doing this video, but going into each property and pressing button after button after button after button to find out what the pay scales are. And this video is accurate as of October 2021. If things change, I'll make another video, but bear that in mind. They're current as of now, things can change. So back to number five on the list, which is Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood has a good selection of older machines and they have reasonably good 
payouts. They have machines in there that are again in the 90s, mid 90s, and some are even in the high 90s. I found some horrible machines in there, six five ones that are just atrocious, of course, but I did find a decent selection of, I didn't find any nine sixes, but I did find nine five one. And that's important, and that's pretty dang good for the strip. So Planet Hollywood comes in at number five due to the fact that they have a very large selection of 9.5, and they also have a lot of 8.5 machines, which is pretty standard, but in the casinos that didn't make the list, the 8.5 was, whoa, dude. The 8.5 was the absolute best that you could possibly find. And in some cases, it was even in the high limit rooms. So, you know, you're talking about some of these places having 7.5s and 6.5s as their average machine in there. So Planet Hollywood with their 9.5s, a huge selection of 9.5s, and in varying games too. Uh, I found a lot of uh, Jacks are Better, if that's your cup of tea, and I also found a lot of Bonus and Bonus Bonus running at 9.5. So number five on the list, go ahead and check out Planet Hollywood. Now, Number four on the list is an old favorite. A lot of people probably never, you just walk by it, but Casino Royale. Casino Royale has some great machines. They're very, very similar to the ones over at Planet Hollywood. The selection might not be as great, but I do. This is one I'll give a little bit to the environment. I like the environment in there. It's kind of neat, it's centrally located. It's a fun place. But they, as well, had a lot of 9.5, and I did find a few 9.6s. Now, why didn't that catapult them further than number four? Because I only found two. <laughs> so if someone's sitting at them, you know, what's the point? There was only two 9.6s in there. So, you know, that actually moved them ahead of Planet Hollywood. So I did find 9.6 machines, two of them. I did find a, quite a few 9.5s, and I did find a lot of 8.5 machines at Casino Royale, so you might want to check them out. Moving on to number three, we're going north on the Strip, all the way to the Strat, the Stratosphere. Now, you're talking again, if you notice, the con, like I said in the beginning, the common denominator being that these are the older properties and they still have the older machines. I think I'm going to hang a left over here. So the older machines are still in play in the older properties, and that is a good thing. So the Stratosphere comes in at number three. Now, I would put it on par as far as the payout on the machines, the same as Casino Royale. But the only difference is, meaning that they have a few, quite a few, nine sixes. They have nine fives. I didn't see any nine six two, but they have a lot of nine six ones. They have a lot of eight five ones a lot of them and that's what got them into slot number three because they had about the same payout from what i found press i must have pressed a hundred machines in that place and that is what i found nine sixes eight fives but in the strat there is a ton of them and they're all over the place it's up to you to find them I, you got to do the same thing that I did. Like I said, drop a comment below and I'll do a video about it if there's enough interest. But again, on the north end of the strip, head on down to the Strat and they have a very large selection of 961s and 851s. But the 961s are the ones I paid attention to and they don't have... 961 just in jacks or better they also had it in bonus poker and that's a plus so that's something you want to look out for too now moving to the opposite end going all the way south and we're going to pay we're, we're actually next door to them right now again older property now away on the south end of the strip so at number two 
is the Tropicana. Now, the Tropicana, I found a few. I think I should have wrote it down, but I think I found three or four 962 machines. I found a ton of 961 machines and a nearly unlimited supply of 85 one machines playing double double and things like that and i like how they're situated and there is an absolute ton of them we're passing the tropicana right now and I, I just find it a fun place to play but again for selection very very good uh finding those nine six deuces and nine six ones you're gonna have to hunt and peck a little bit but they are in there and in good supply and their standard machine although you can find i did find some six five ones and some seven five ones but their standard machine in there tends to be around the average of a eight five one so Tropicana, south end of the strip, they come in at number two. And we're going to get into number one right after this. And number one on the list of places to play video poker on the Las Vegas strip. Drum roll, please. That would be Bally's. Now, that might surprise a lot of you, but it's not about, I didn't create this list based on amenities, whether they treat me good, uh, whether the carpet's clean, none of that. It's strictly based on the machines that I found at the time of this recording, which is again, October 2021. And Bally's came in at number one for having the, the most selection of the highest paying machines. And that is the number one criteria and Bally's got it right on the strip. There's a ton of old machines in there. And don't, you know, you wanna play the old machines. Now, now granted, they have all these new iterations of video poker, spin double X, and you know, they, they turned them into an arcade style. Some people like that, they find it more entertaining. Some people find poker itself kind of boring to play. Sometimes they play the bar top ones uh, in order to pass time while they're having a beer or waiting for friends and things like that. I get it, but if you wanna hold on to your bankroll, video poker is the place to be and we're going to come up on Bally's right now and Bally's has the machines that'll preserve your bankroll they had some machines in the 97 percent category and that is pretty damn good for the Las Vegas strip so you again you gotta look around now don't confuse when you're walking through the place because right next door here where we're passing Paris they do not have good video poker machines. So if you're at Paris, slide your butt on over into Bally's to play the video poker. Now their bar top machines are standard 851 machines, which is pretty damn good for a bar top machine because a lot of them in town here are running like 7.5 and 6.5. So a bar top machine over at Bally's, I'm finding them at 851, so that is good. What is this up here? Omega Mart, that's something I have to do a video on too. We'll get to that, hit the bell button. But Bally's has a very, very good selection of nine six ones. Now, everyone said, well, what about nine six twos? There's, I would say, I think I found five or six in there, but again, you have to hunt and peck, hunt and peck. Nine six deuce is like the holy grail at least on the strip, <laughs> we're, we're discussing the strip right here, and there are a few of them in there. They made number one because of, they had the most that I found, they had the most 961 machines that I found, and their bar top machines were the highest paying that I found on the Las Vegas strip. So that puts Bally solidly in number one. So let's recap real quick. At number five, we got Planet Hollywood. At number four, we got Casino Royale. At number three, we got The Strat. At number four, Tropicana. And coming in at number one, we have 
valleys. Again, all older properties, but if video poker is your thing, go check them out accordingly. Now, the separating factor between them is a, just a few percentage points, but if there's only two machines that are doing 961, you know, that that's different because you're gonna have to really hunt and peck, and if someone's sitting down at one of those machines, you're SOL. What is, I'm trying to figure out what this thing is in front of us. It's spitting out smoke and, nah, it's kind of cool. Whatever. Okay, so I promised you some bonus information because you stuck around till the very end. And don't forget to put the 9% word of the day, which I'll drop right now. Drop it in the comments or let me know and YouTube know that you did indeed stuck around to the very, stick around to the very end. And statistically, 9% of all viewers do indeed stick around to the very end, and I'd love for you to be one of them. So, as promised, here is the bonus content. Should you be playing in the high limit poker rooms? Okay, now you say, oh, well, high limit, you know, I'm not rolling like that, high limit. Well, here's the thing. What I would tell you about the high limit room specifically and remember we're talking about video poker machines i would suggest playing in the high limit rooms in just about any of these places because that's where they take a step up that's where you're going to find more nine six and in some cases you're going to find nine six deuce machines nine six two machines in some of the high limit rooms. But hey, bro, Frederick, I don't have the budget to do that. Okay, here's the criteria. If you're playing quarter machines, max bet, you are spending $1.25 per hand, whether you're playing individual, whether you're playing three play, five play, or 10 play, you are spending $1.25 per hand at a quarter max bet. So if that's your case, if you're max betting at 25 cents, you might as well go ahead over to the high limit room and perhaps check out the machines that don't penalize you for not playing max bet and playing dollar to get the extra percentage points. You're, you'd actually be saving money to go into the high limit room, pay a dollar machine, get the 9.6 instead of the 8.5 on the same machine that's out on the floor, except you got a few extra percentage points and they'll probably treat you a little better in there. But the thing that you have to bear in mind is that some of the machines, and again, you got to learn how to read a pay scale, will penalize you for not betting max coin. You'll see four coins being 2,000, and then when you max bet for that one additional coin, it's 4,000, you know, just doubles. So be cautious that at one, two, three, four, and five coins, it is going up proportionally to the bet. They're not making a huge jump at the end for playing max bet. And that's the machine I would suggest. So if you're playing quarter or higher for that matter, max bet on a video poker machine, so you're $1.25 plus, go into the high limit rooms and check out their offerings. They're generally the same machines, but instead of an 8.5, you'll probably find the 9.6s on the same exact game. And that's better for you. Might even save you some money, but it'll definitely save you your bankroll. And then you can say, I play in the high limit rooms. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you put that information to use. And again, that is current as of October 2021. And I have uh, in the description, you'll see the reasons you might want to start playing video poker machines here in Las Vegas and two other videos of best places to play, best and worst places to play slot machines downtown and on the strip and also let me hang a turn right here. And I'll also be doing a video poker best of for downtown. So definitely hit the bell button and I invite you to like, share, 
and subscribe for more content like this. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on any links in the description below. And on that note, Bro Frederick out. Make sure it sound right, boys.